In financial mathematics, the Hull White model is a model of future interest rates. In its most generic formulation, it belongs to the class of no arbitrage models that are able to fit today's term structure of interest rates. It is relatively straightforward to translate the mathematical description of the evolution of future interest rates onto a tree or lattice and so, interest rate derivatives such as Bermudan swaptions can be valued in the model. The first Hull-White model was described by John C. Hull and Alan White in 1990. The model is still popular in the market today. The model. One factor model. The model is a short rate model. In general, it has dynamics. There is a degree of ambiguity amongst practitioners about exactly which parameters in the model are time dependent or what name to apply to the model in each case. The most commonly accepted hierarchy has theta and alpha constant. The Vasicek model theta has T dependence. The Hull White model theta and alpha are also time dependent. The extended Vasicek model two factor model. The two factor Hull White model contains an additional disturbance term whose mean reverts to zero and is of the form where has an initial value of zero and follows the process. Analysis of the one factor model. For the rest of this article we assume only has t-dependence, neglecting the stochastic term for a moment. Notice that the change in r is negative if r is currently large, alpha, and positive if the current value is small. That is, the stochastic process is a mean reverting lonstein uhlenbeck process. Theta is calculated from the initial yield curve describing the current term structure of interest rates. Typically alpha is left as a user input. Sigma is determined via calibration to a set of caplets and swaptions readily tradable in the market. When, and a constant, ITO's lemma can be used to prove that which has distribution where is the normal distribution with mean and variance. When is time dependent, which has distribution bond pricing using the Hull White model? It turns out that the time s value of the T maturity discount bond has distribution where note that their terminal distribution for P is distributed. Log normally. Derivative pricing. By selecting as numeraire the time s bond, we have from the fundamental theorem of arbitrage free pricing. The value at time zero of a derivative which has payoff at time s. Here is the expectation taken with respect to the forward measure. Moreover that standard arbitrage arguments show that the time t forward price for a payoff at time t given by v must satisfy. Thus thus it is possible to value many derivatives v dependent solely on a single bond p analytically when working in the Hull White model. For example in the case of a bond put because p is log normally distributed. The general calculation used for black skulls shows that where and thus today's value multiplied back in is here sigma p is the standard deviation of the log normal distribution for p. A fairly substantial amount of algebra shows that it is related to the original parameters via note that this expectation was done in the S bond measure, whereas we did not specify a measure at all for the original Hull White process. This does not matter. The volatility is all that matters and is measure independent. Because interest rate caps, flaws or equivalent to bond puts and calls respectively. The above analysis shows that caps and flaws can be priced analytically in the Hull White model. Jamshidian's trick applies to Hull White. Thus knowing how to price caps is also sufficient for pricing swaptions. The swaptions can also be priced directly as described in Henrard. The direct implementation is usually more efficient. Trees and lattices. However, valuing vanilla instruments such as caps and swaptions is useful primarily for calibration. The real use of the model is to value somewhat more exotic derivatives such as Bermudan swaptions on a lattice or other derivatives in a multi-currency context such as quanta constant maturity swaps, as explained for example in Brigger and Mercurio.